There's something about them which I think says um, something broader about people in New South Wales and Australia. It's almost like a manifestation of our affinity with the coastline. Beach swimming, ocean swimming is a very Aussie uh, pastime, a way of life. It has changed dramatically since I was a little, little child. Um, it was a real working class area. As a divorced mum of three children with very little money, DY Rockpool was just what I needed at the time. Rockpools have been a way of life since I was born, so I'm, I'm just, they're part of my lifestyle. I didn't know where they came from, but they were just here. That's where my so-called landscape sculptures came out. In those days, women weren't even accepted by New South Wales swimming. The ladies, even back in the 20s and 30s, were doing things um, just as competently and even better in many cases than what the men would do. And I feel honoured to be in their company. There was a small group, a couple of, couple of friends that started it, and it just grew from there. It's a deeply Australian phenomenon in that there's Indigenous Australian fish traps all around the coast when you know what you're looking for. We need to bring back and ensure that our Aboriginal brothers and sisters receive the benefits of um, the water and learn how to swim because at the end of the day it is their land and I think we have an obligation to help in that regard. Where do these structures fit in contemporary practice? You know, it's, it seems like something that just could never be done today. Look on the wall, there's pictures of my kids swimming and racing down here and um, hopefully their kids, when they have them, will be down here as well. Met my wife down here, actually. <laughs> Those things are actually the heart and soul of a nation, of a civilization. We need beauty in our lives, and there's beauty in nature. This is such a great place for people to come and see what the ocean can be like if it's looked after and preserved. It goes beyond uh, raw rationalist economics as well into all sorts of human emotions and intangible factors and, and great memories. Things go very quiet. You don't feel, I am doing it. You feel, it is happening. No matter what country a person comes from or who they are, uh, their, their race or their gender, or whatever, it, it doesn't matter, you know. It taught people society, how to participate in society, how to socialise, how to administer. Um, how to lead, how to be a team player. They teach small children a lot of life skills without even them knowing. I'm very hopeful and very optimistic about, about the future. This is my happy place. <laughs>